If you were like me and was wondering what to do with your kids during this holiday season right here in Charlotte, this video is for you. Be sure to stick around to the end because the last three things to do on this list are free. I'm Sir Ashley and this channel we talk about money, real estate, and all things Charlotte. If any one of those things interest you, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when we drop new videos. All right, let's jump right into it. The first thing you can do right here in the Charlotte area during the holiday season is go to the Speedway Christmas. Now that's at the Charlotte Motor Speedway and it features 4 million lights on the almost four mile course. Now you drive through the light display and it's set in the holiday theme, of course, and it runs from the end of November to January 17th. And the cost per vehicle to drive around the course at the Charlotte Motor Speedway is $20. Now in the description, I will put links to all of these events. I recommend that you check these links out and just confirm that everything is still going on and taking place because as we know, it is a crazy time out there and situations and plans are constantly moving and adjusting due to what we're experiencing right now in 2020. All right, the second thing on the list is also at the Charlotte Motor Speedway and that is ice skating. Um, it's new this year. There is a 5,000 square foot ice skating rink right at the Charlotte Motor Speedway and that also lasts from the end of November to January 17th, except it's not available on Christmas Day and it the cost for it is $15 an hour. So if you want to skate for an hour, it is $15. Now I wanted to look up this stuff because personally, I know that this school year has been a challenge doing the whole virtual thing and having my young one in the house. I could only imagine what it was going to be like when there was no school and she was in the house every single day, all day with nothing to do. So hopefully you get to benefit from this list. I made this list selfishly because I was thinking of things to do with her and our family, uh, but you get to benefit from it. And if you find it helpful at all, go ahead and hit that like button. It, I definitely appreciate it and it helps out the channel. All right, number three on the list, we're moving to the Sea Life Aquarium. That is also in Concord, Concord Mills. Um, and that is from late November to January 3rd. Now at the Sea Life Aquarium, they are lighting things up for the holiday spirit and they have over 10,000 holiday lights in the aquarium and they're calling the experience Journey into the Sea of Lights. Now guests are also invited to participate in the Sea Life's food drive and all donations from the food drive is going to the Second Harvest Food Bank of Metrolina. And for every five non-perishable items donated, you receive one complimentary weekday admission into the Sea Life Aquarium. Moving on to number four on the list is in Kannapolis, and it is the, their popular celebration of lights. It is taking place in their village park, and that's from November 20th through December 30th. Uh, you walk through the display of lights, and they have over 250,000 lights, and you have to look at the display 12 Days of Christmas. It is what they're known for and what they put on every single year, and they also have a Winterland Express train ride for kids and adults, where as opposed to walking through the Celebration of Lights, you get to hop on this train. I believe walking through the Celebration of Lights is free, but if you wanted to jump on the train, it is $6 a ride. The next thing you can do with your kids during this time, actually not even just for the kids and during this time, I say you should go to the U.S. National White Water Center. They have ice skating and light trails. Now they have tons of trails, um, kayaking, stand-up waterboarding, ropes courses, um, a rock wall. They have tons of things to do throughout the year, so I encourage you all to check out the National White Water Center. I don't talk about it enough. But back to the holiday season. During the holiday season, the U.S. National Whitewater Center features 17,000 square foot ice skating rink and lights during throughout their walking trails. Now, the cost to see the lights and go through the walking trails is free, but every time you go to the National Whitewater Center, there is a price for parking, which I believe is about $10. And if you want to go skating, the cost is $20 per person. Now, these events at the U.S. National Whitewater Center last from end of November through mid-February. So you have some time to check that out. I say go a couple times. It is a blast. I personally, like I said before, enjoy the National Whitewater Center. 
Now, the next thing, number six on the list is south of Charlotte is actually in Gaston County, and it's at the Daniel Stowe Botanical Garden. They call it Holidays at the Garden, where you get to watch the light display in its natural setting. Now, their light display is from late November through January 3rd, and tickets cost $15 for adults, $13 for kids, and children from 2 to 12, they are $8. A little bit about the Botanical Garden before we move on. It is located in Belmont, North Carolina. I said it's in Gaston County, and it sits on 380 acres. And it was originally Native Americans of the Catawba and Cherokee tribe that trapped, fished, and hunted and raised their families on this land. Now on to number seven on the list, and that is a drive-in movie in Davidson at Sadler Square on Saturdays. Now, the time it's going to take place is to be determined because it has to be around dusk. And I say definitely, this is one I say you need to follow up with beforehand because depending on the weather, you're not quite sure if you're going to have it on that Saturday. But drive-in movie theaters, I loved them as a kid, and it's just a nice time to get together, just break the monotony of things. Uh, the first movie actually starts takes place December 5th, and it is a Christmas vacation, a holiday classic. The cost per car for the drive-in movie is just $10. Now this next event is free. Now you do have to find parking, but it is in Uptown Charlotte. It is the Christmas Village of Charlotte. It is Uptown, like I said, they offer food, cider, um, hot chocolate, and hot mold wine. I'm not sure if you've had hot mold wine. Um, it's just a, a pouch of spices mixed in with wine, and it's warmed up, hot mold wine, and it is, it's pretty good. First time I had it was at the um, Christmas show, which they typically have every year here in Charlotte. Um, they did not have it this year. Thank you, 2020. Now, this what? event is free if you just want to go look at the lights. But of course, the food and drinks will cost money if you decide to get some of those. All right. Number nine on the list, something you can take the kids to, and I believe they will enjoy it, is to have them go see Santa. Now, at Bass Pro Shop and Cabela's in the area, going to see Santa and taking pictures with him is absolutely free. Now, you do have to schedule ahead of time, so I say go online to book that. Now, this last one is more so for the adults than it is for the kids. It is completely free to go and just enjoy the lights and the live music, but it is at the Dover Vineyards every weekend in November and December. Again, I said it is completely free to go, but of course, if you want to partake in the wine and the food, you have to pay for that. But the live music and just being there and experiencing it is absolutely free. And they also have a s'mores experience to where you and your kid uh, can make some s'mores over by their campfires. All right, that is it. I hope this was helpful. 10 things you can do during this holiday season to um, break the monotony of things and just have different experiences in the Charlotte area for you and your child. I will talk to you later.